Hello, I'm Lawrence Brenner from Nerd Reactor, and I'm here with the incredible Neil deGrasse Tyson. My question for you is, what what have been some of your... By the way, literally, incredible means not believable. <laughs> oh. Incredible. So I'd like to think I'm believable. <laughs> <laughs> Let's say credible, Neil Tyson. How about that? So I'm here with the credible <laughs> Neil deGrasse Tyson. <laughs> My first question for you is, what's it been like bringing Cosmos to a new generation? Well, I think it's overdue. The last one was 34 years ago. That's right, that's the generally what we, that's generally what we define as a generation. And I think the time was right. If you look around and you see that whole mm -hmm. sectors of society is is rejecting or cherry picking the fruits of science, it's like, what are you doing? What? There's governance that's trying to set legislation based on a non-objectively verifiable ideas. What what is that? That's what that's, what kind of government is that? What kind of country is that? And so we felt that it was time to re-offer what science is, how it works, what it has done for us in the history of our species, so that going forward, mm -hmm. we can become better shepherds of our own civilization. So how do you hope that Cosmos will inspire this generation and future generations? I, I want Cosmos to inspire anyone who has a beating heart. And do zombies have beating hearts? Depends on the no? no, okay, okay. Forget zombies then. <laughs> Expert over here said zombies don't have beating hearts. Uh, so it's not just a next generation, it's everybody who's in earshot and sightline of the program. Most of the country are adults. Adults run things. We mm -hmm. vote. We create legislation. It needs to affect everyone. Otherwise you can't actually create the world that we have the brain power to create. And one more question. What has been your f your favorite events from the Cosmic Calendar? Oh, <laughs> it's fun walking on this huge green screen set and just imagining what's going on. Oh, we've got a supernova over here and the formation of the solar system. And I know what these look like, right? So I get to picture them in my head. So it's kind of a personal mental fantasy to be on the Cosmic Calendar, waiting for the visual effects people to put in what I'm already visualizing for you, the viewer. So it's just kind of fun walking that calendar and getting to the very last moment of the last day of the last minute of the cosmic calendar and describing human civilization as we know it unfolding in the last 14 seconds. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you very much for this, taking okay. the time to do the interview.